ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದೇಶ್ವರಸಮಾರಂಭಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಾಂ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾ इस समय हमारे साथ उपस्थित सभी दर्शकों और भक्तों का मैं प्रेम एवं आशीर्वाद सहित स्वागत करता हूँ आई वेलकम ऑल द डिवोटीज डिसाइपल्स समाजीस सत्संगीस श्री महंस महंस तानेदार कोटारीस सिटिंग विथ अस all over the world through nityananda tv sadhana tv two way video conferencing having nayana diksha in many countries many cities around the world cities sitting with us in two way video conferencing having nayana diksha nityananda university los angeles nityananda university paris ಟೊರಂಟೋ ಕೈಲಾಸಂ ಸಿಂಗಾಪುರ್ ಸಿಂಗಾಪುರಂ ಬಿಡಾದೀಶ್ವರಿ ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಸೇಲಂ ಚಾರ್ಲಟ್ ಶ್ರೀಶೈಲಂ ಒಕ್ಲಹಾಮ ಸೋಮನಾಥಂ ವಾಷಿಂಗ್ಟನ್ ಡಿ ಸಿ ಶ್ರೀಪುರಂ ಫೀನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾಂಚೀಪುರಂ ಸಿಯಾಟಲ್ ಚಿದಂಬರಂ ಪೋರ್ಟ್ ವಾಷಿಂಗ್ಟನ್ ನ್ಯೂಯಾರ್ಕ್ ಗ್ವಾಡಲು ರಾಮೇಶ್ವರಂ ತಿರುಮಾನ್ಮಯೂರ್ ಚೆನ್ನೈ ಬಿಡಿದಿ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರ ಬಿಡದಿ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರಮು ಹೈದರಾಬಾದ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರ್ ತಿರುವಣ್ಣಾಮಲೈ ಹೈಪಾಯಿನ್ ನಾರ್ತ್ ಕರೋಲಿನ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಗರಿ ಅಮರನಾಥ್ ಫೀನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕಾಂಚೀಪುರಂ ಹೈದರಾಬಾದ್ ಗುಪ್ತಕಾಶಿ ರ್ಯಾಂಚೋ ಕುಕುಮಾಂಗೋ ಕಲಿಫೋರ್ನಿಯಾ ಸೈಂಟ್ ಲೂಯಿಸ್ ತಿರುಮಲ ನ್ಯೂಯಾರ್ಕ್ ವಾರಣಾಸಿ ಗ್ರಾಸೆ ಫ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯೂಸ್ಟನ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸಸ್ ಹೈದರಾಬಾದ್ ಗುಪ್ತಕಾಶಿ ಅಬುಧಾಬಿ ಕೊಲಾಲಂಪುರ್ ಪಳನಿ ಒಹಾಯೋ ಪ್ರಯಾಗ್ ಆದಿನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಪೀಠ ಮಾವತ್ತಿಪ್ಪಾಳಯಂ i welcome all of you with my love and respects today i'll resume i'll come back to the living advaita teamily process team plus family is teamily people with whom you work people with whom you live people with whom you work is team people with whom you live is family both put together i call teamily <laughs> so being in the advaita with the teamily the inner awakening participants for you it may be a little new if you are watching the satsang only for last few days maybe last two months i am guiding people through certain process step by step to experience the non duality with the people whom you work and with the people whom you share your life first you need to experience advaita with the people around you only then it can become a day to day living reality for you if you want advaita to become a day to day living reality this is the only way 
please understand you can go on be thinking about advaita talking about advaita constantly in irritation and agitation and fight with the persons people with whom you are sharing your life nothing will happen neither advaita will happen to you nor it will happen to others if advaita comes to you it may lose its grace so the first thing need to happen is you bringing advaitic space with your teamily the people with whom you work the people with whom you share your life please understand this will be one of my unique contribution this will be one of the important component of nityananda smriti means lifestyle everything i am doing as simple as asking you to wear the sandalwood paste on the forehead to as difficult as doing asking you to do completion with your spouse are asking you to wear white during satsang and black during yoga whatever i am asking you everything is aimed at making you experience non duality with your teamily because that is the first foremost step please listen first foremost step to make advaita as a lifestyle reestablishing reviving the great sanatana hindu dharma is possible only by living it please understand i am telling you one very important secret if you make if advaita becomes your strategy lifestyle you don't need anybody else to defend you advaita will defend you you will defend advaita understand if you make advaita as your strategy planning you don't need anyone to defend you in your life advaita will defend you you will defend advaita i'll explain how advaita can become a strategy in all the moments of your life whether it is celebration our crisis high moments are depression excitement or desperation whatever may be the moments of your life advaita can be advaita is the best strategy listen any attack coming towards you is unknown part of you get ready to know the unknown part of you with the knowledge of known parts of you listen get ready to know the unknown parts of you with the knowledge of known components of you there are tons of things which you know about you tons of components of you is known to you with that knowledge with that strength get ready to face the unknown components of you i'll make it more practical before that 
I just wanted to remind you all and remember today is the day the great saint Thirunyana Sammandar re-established Saivism in Madurai. The fifth day of Meenakshi Brahmotsavam and we bow down to Mahadeva and Devi who came down as Thirunyana Sammandar and re-established Shaivism in Madurai. The king of Madurai got reconverted, came back to Shaivism on the same day. The fifth day of the Brahmotsavam. On this very day, he established the great tradition of Shaivism back in Madurai. Even though the temple and monastery was there, the king was king lost the way he went away to different way of lifestyle he was brought back and Shaivism was, was established re-established on this very day by Tarunyana Sammanda we offer our prayers to Mahadeva on this fifth day of the Brahmotsavam celebration Sammandar gave the sacred ash from the kitchen oven or furnace whatever you call it. the cooking they cook with the firewood that ash he gave with this very verse you heard now just now with that he gave healed the king's hunch back and uh, a fever which kills I don't know medically, in, sorry, in allopathy, what is the term we use here in the modern days? You can say almost like a dengue or H1N1. Kind of a fever which comes and kills the person. The back bone will be bent slowly and the person will die. That was the disease the king had, the Pandya king. So, Tarunyana Sammandar who is the incarnation of Mahadeva and Devi gives the ash from the kitchen singing this very verse and immediately king becomes alright his back becomes straight and the fever disappears by evening he got converted to Shaivism morning the healing happened 
evening he got converted to saivism and next day morning sorry that bef- that night the saivism has been declared as a religion of pandya kingdom next day morning jnana sambandhar means tomorrow morning jnana sambandhar had a coronation as a rajaguru the king offered his whole kingdom to tirunyana sambandhar with the grace of jnana sambandhar as per the shaivite tradition the kingdom started functioning so today is the day jnana sambandhar reestablished shaivism got the king back got the kingdom back let's reestablish ourselves in advaita come on <laughs> <laughs>